I appreciate it as well that you probably can't talk about this, but at the same time, I'm going to ask. Yeah, ask and, anyway, mate. Ask um, <laughs> so have you got any other projects that you're working on currently that we should be excited for? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I currently have 16 projects unreleased, uh, video game-wise, of, of varying degrees of, let's say, budget, you know, mm -hmm. down indie up to AAA, I'd say. So it's it's really exciting like really really exciting i've got three coming out in the first half of the year definitely confirmed which is going to be incredible i can't tell you what any of them are yet anything in hogwarts legacy oh <laughs> mate i wish because <laughs> that's like I my can, big game for next year i can like, categorically say unfortunately no i have not oh. been, i'm not in hogwarts legacy i don't even know if i want it now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i agree don't buy it <laughs> That, no, that's great. Would you say like this is kickstarted more, or did you have a lot of sort of work while so, you were doing this as well? So I had three upcoming projects to come out before I did Dark Tide, and then I got Dark Tide. It's, if I was going to be hired for my work on this, it's not at that point. I got Dark Tide, and then I got other jobs and other jobs and other jobs after that. It's kind of more a case of just being the right person for the job, lucky enough to get it. No, well, that's great. I mean, I'm really happy that it's taken off for you. I have imposter syndrome quite uh, badly. Like, no matter what I do, no matter potentially how good I may do it, my head's saying to me, nah, it's terrible, it's bad, not good enough, you know. But my spirit keeps me going. It's not enough for me to be like, oh, stop doing it all together. It's just, That would be know. true for a lot of people, though, in that situation, you know? Yeah. Like, it's when you're, whenever you're creating anything yourself, you're like, that's not good enough. I don't like that. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. At the end of the day, I want to release the best thing possible. Because it's not just down to me either, you know? It's down to the devs, the writers, the directors. Yeah. It's a big collaborative experience. And it's weird, because, like, I look at the stuff I've done, and my wife's like, it's a great achievement, what you've done there. It's really cool to be proud of. And I'm like, uh like the judge, I am massively proud of the judge, but I'm still like, yeah, but I could have like, done it this, better. This could have been better, or that could have been better. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, exactly. It's, have you got, obviously, I mean, I'm not a responsible adult, really. I say I don't work. <laughs> I do work, but, like, I, I care for my wife. So I sort of, depending on how she is, sometimes I, I might not be able to play for a long time. You know, I say having a job, do you, do you find that you sort of, I say, game enough to, to be happy with? <laughs> I don't game as much as I, as I used to. And... Part of me is like, oh, I wish I could do more. But at the same time, like, I'm kind of focusing more on certain games now. Finished um, doing Ragnarok and stuff like that. But for, and also, obviously, I've got a wife as well. And I like, I like seeing her, so I don't want to lose, <laughs> you know, all the time. Oh, no, definitely. So, definitely. um, yeah, it's varies. Like, I'd, I'd say right now I'm at a point where I'm happy to with it. As long as I get, like, my housework done and my life doesn't, you know, fall yeah. behind gaming, I think... I'd it's all good, you know? Obviously, I'd love to talk some more about your, your your voice acting. I know this is a really horrible question as well to ask, so my apologies, I, but for I some reason, ready. it's in my head. Did you get let down or by anyone or like... When I say let down, like, you know, what was it <laughs> like? Have you ever been let down? No, no, no. <laughs> like, um, that's not the right way of saying that. So you were sort of like, I think I did really good at that, but then they go, oh, you're not the right one for the job. Um, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, like, most actors go in for some job. I won't say every job, but... Oh, you know what? It's funny because I got a job... I booked the job today it's a very small little job on something it's weird like yeah what you see in yourself and what other people see in yourself so to speak it's interesting but uh yeah a, a, a lot of times where i've thought i've been like close to getting a job or you know felt like i really had something special and it didn't work out but one thing i've learned forced into my brain is that just because you don't get the job doesn't mean you aren't good enough it just means that they seen something in somebody else they think they can work with better for example, like, so I did Formula 1 2021, 2022, mm. same character. Now, in my head, I'm like, oh, well, I'll be back for 2023. But if I'm not, I can't be like, oh, yeah, screw you guys because yeah. they've given me a chance. But yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult because like, the thing oh. is as well, the really important thing to remember as well is that they listen to your auditions and they do remember you. Even if you yeah. don't get the job, they remember you. You said, you mentioned you've got a few jobs that you've you've got you know coming out yeah. early next year are these jobs that you've sort of you were asked to do or, or have you hunted for the jobs yeah it's because you gotta be careful with how you go about because you uh, don't want to come across as desperate or clingy the three it, i'm referring to in my head uh one was through my agent and one was just good. through being contacted by the company themselves and trying out for it so it's, it's a mix, really, you know, it's a mix. So it reached out to you? Most, I mean, you're expect, expected to earn the job. I don't ever expect yourself to be in a position where you're like, oh, yeah, just give me the job. Because that's that's just, you know, the bad mindset to have. You know? Yeah, I think so. But networking and making connections is also very important. You know, you, you've got to do these things. It takes years, years to do it. Yeah. But you will get there, you know. It just, it just takes time.
have, have you been tempted to say like you know oh no, speak to my agent oh no i, 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 don't, I don't do that or, or if i do i'll be like oh i'll i'll i'll, 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 I'll yeah but instead of like speak to my agent it's, it's never a in a bad way it's always just like oh, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah 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 i'll do that <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Bulks asked me a question. Is James unionized? Un I oh, unionized. The bay means union. Unionized. unionized. Sorry, yeah. dyslexic brain. No, it's okay. fine, mate. Uh, okay. Well, it's funny. In uh, Unions in America and the UK acting market are completely different. There we go. There is a massive kind of divide. Like in America, unionized. the unions are far, far more important. In the UK, there are set laws. We have equity is kind of the big union over here. And they kind of, if you feel like you're being, you know, having issues with a job, you can get them involved. In America, there's a big divide between union and non-union jobs. And mm -hmm. you can be kind of ostracized almost for doing non-union jobs. Because obviously non-union jobs means they can kind of expect more of you and, you know, maybe get more out of you in a short time, you know, basically cutting edges around the rules. But if I was to go, go to America, I would definitely try and get unionized. Also, Reverick asked, who's your favorite voice actor? Like ever? Let me let, let me ponder on that one. Yeah, it's hard to answer straight away, isn't it? When I was a teenager, I was big into uh, Troy Baker. Matt Mercer is one of my favorites. You will probably say names, and I probably won't know them because I'm terrible. Uh, I'll do my best to explain. I, I might know like role, you know, like roles that they've played in games and stuff, but like I don't, I won't know the person that's played them. You know what I mean? Uh, Reverick said his is uh, Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings, right? That name rings a massive bell in my head. Jim Cummings, he has done. I want to know if you get it because Reverick told me because I didn't have a clue who he was, but now that he said it, I'm like, oh wow, really? He did that, and then yeah, what what did he do? Because I'm, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah, that's why he's related. Yeah. Great voice. Brilliant, brilliant voice. Yeah, he's he's fantastic. Okay, somebody asked them, what do you think of uh, the Vermintide voice acting? Uh, great. I really like it. It seems to be like a quite a, an agreed upon thing. Is it, is it uh, the Alf Woman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not her acting that bothers me. I think it's bad. I'm just sick of hearing, come on, Mayflies. Yeah. Mayflies. Come on, Mayflies. 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 It's like, please. Stop calling me mayflies! <laughs> yeah. But, uh, like, like, but that's more of a character issue, Stop not Stop shooting me, Kruber! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Kruber? <laughs> but she's, on, she's a literal... Um... Get over there, Dory! Yeah. Come on, I love... I just love dwarves. Dory! <laughs> I love dwarves. Yeah, yeah. I, they're, they're just so good. I... My favourite is Salt Spire, though. Salt Spire is great. It's, um... Blessed yeah. Sigma! The... Face me now! It's like... <laughs> We've changed it as well on, on, on our channel, so it's not Holy Sigma Bless This Ravaged Body. It's, um, it's Holy Sigma Ravage This Blessed Body. <laughs> Holy Sigma Ravage This Blessed Body. <laughs> my Sigma, you posted cringe. Prepare, <laughs> Prepare to be judged. Yeah, I did my own version of that. My own I love judge. it. You know, I had to. I had to. It's only fair. Very good question somebody's asked, actually. Did... Did you get much chance to sort of improvise during your Uh Yeah, session? there was a, a lot of the lines were pre-written, so they were kind of locked in. But some of the improvised ones, mainly for me, a lot of it come from like the, the battle cries we could improvise. Yeah. I did, what was it now? Oh, yeah, when you get picked up by Mutis, they just wanted us to be like, Ugh, uh, getting slammed about by it. But I put in a few like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing you... You want to improv a certain way, but you still got to keep it in character. Yeah. You can't have them just going, oh, get off me, jerk. Yeah. It wouldn't work as well. Ooh, another good, good, good question. So I just, I did ask people if no, they no. had questions to, oh, to just what, ask an owl. I'll dare I'll, you. Fine, mate. But if, if you're fed up of, um, yeah. I am not. I'm not fed up at all, mate. Don't you worry. Um, what roles uh, did you get the most satisfaction from getting slash doing? The ones I can talk about, at least. Yes. Well, Dark Tide's up there. Like, doing Dark Tide was like a like a therapy session. Like, all, like, repressed rage and stuff inside of you. All that screaming really, yeah. really gets it out yeah, of you. Yeah, so that's good. I mean, I know when they did the interview with the with the Salt Spire voice actor, he sort of had no idea what Warhammer was. And he did an amazing yeah. job. It was incredible, but obviously, say, for somebody like that, it's probably harder to actually maybe improvise or, or get a lot of satisfaction from it because it's a job. They don't have the passion for the environment or the, the, the story yeah. that, that you might have for 40k sort of thing. No, I, I understand that. I think it helps to have an understanding for improvisation situations, for sure. 
I had a lot of fun working on Grid Legend race game from Codemasters. Oh, yeah. I, I played the like, first Grid. I haven't played the others. Grid Legend's the first one I played, and Grid Legend's was a lot of fun because I did I did a very small role in the base game, and they, they brought me on for the DLC to be, like, kind of like a permanent engineer character in it. Yeah. So that was really, really nice to do as well, and the character's a lot of fun. He's just kind of like a general, like, race engineer guy, but it was just fun just, like, doing consistent lines on it and kind of figuring out, like, how he's meant to sound and joking with the player a bit like that so that was a lot of fun yeah uh i was a big fan of uh also working on division two oh you two, were in like, division two yeah i did some voice in the division two as Ooh. well so it was mostly M npc characters mm -hmm. and like the voice logs and that was a lot of fun because we got the chance to like obviously do multiple characters around the game different kinds of people so it's quite nice little area for variety and voices and stuff like that and yeah. actually got us to take toy guns into a car park and just run about and be like <laughs> oh, fire! stuff like that and that was that was that's, that was a lot that, of, that sounds lot amazing of, like, yeah that was, that, that's never happened since and may never happen again it was a bloody good time it's so weird that you said division two because we were talking yesterday uh yeah. with jade one of the people in the stream and also uh slivy one of the other people and they were talking about playing division two again and it's so I weird mean, and and jade just like said it. like Jed just said, oh, that's a sign that we have to play Division 2. And I'm like, yep, it yeah. is. It's a you sign. Have, you, have, you have my uh, approval, my blessing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had a lot of hours in Division 1. And then, I, again, one of those things, I was really looking forward to Division 2 and then just didn't play it I, like as much. I, when I say I didn't play it, I still had like 200 hours in it. But I didn't really play it as much as Division 1. Yeah, I only played the second one. I did enjoy it. I mean, it's bias again because I was in it, but I, do, I yeah. did genuinely quite... I, fin I finished it, got to the end game, but I was surprised when it did end because literally you go to a computer and it's like, you finished the game. I was yeah. like, oh, what? That, that, who? <laughs> but like, yeah. I think that's a big thing with Div with Division because like, it was always... Um, the end game grind was always the biggest thing because obviously gamers love a grind. You know what I mean? Like gamers... Yeah, a, exactly. lot, a lot of gamers love a good grind. Um, it's weird how I say games have changed now from something like Warcraft that I used to play loads when I was younger to games now where it's sort of like, again... I mean, just even World of Warcraft, where you're talking thousands and thousands of hours of, of game time. And, you know, that's not, you won't even cover all everything, you know what I mean? It's just strange how, how much time games are designed for now. Sorry, somebody else has asked, uh, Bulk has asked actually, what would you say is the best skill for a voice actor to have? Improv skills are handy, which is what I'm trying to work on. But also, I don't think that's a skill, but being passionate about the job. Like, the people making the game love to see that their actors are so invested in it. I think enthusiasm, but also a good skill to have, really, is not taking yourself too seriously. Yes. Being, being willing to try something new. Like, a big thing for me for a long time was, and still is really, I'm still working on it, is like, once I get into my head how to deliver a certain line, I will keep delivering it the same way. Yeah. I act from it mm -hmm. even though oh, let's try a different take and i'll be like i only know one way to do it because acting is a very ego egoy business you know mm -hmm. people believe the hype but i think going about thinking you're god's god's gift yeah is you've always got to be uh humble i think cause... i think it's i mean how can you not be humble is what yeah. i'm trying to say somebody asked when are we getting australian katachan so katachan fighters are a, a part of the imperial army in the game and uh we were talking about how we should have some who are like get over there mate get the over there what are you doing opera. praise the beneficent emperor mate <laughs> praise the beneficent emperor <laughs> all righty you guys ain't fought anything till you've fought those tyrannies <laughs> no way let's get another shrimp <laughs> oh no <laughs> let's get another... <laughs> no. i can't say let's it now get another it. tin of corpse starch on the barbie lads i meant to say let's get another skull on the barbie but i can't i can't get out a shrimp on the barbie don't man. eat bones Sorry, I've got another question somebody has no, asked. No worries um, at all. So, do you, as a uh, voice actor, get input if you feel a certain line doesn't really fit in the character's personality? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can... I've not really been... A... Well, you know what? Actually, tell what, I've... something I've worked on, we had a few conversations, because obviously, as you develop it, you kind of like, you're figuring out where the, where the character is going and, you know, what they're like. And it's also how you deliver it sometimes, but also, uh, yeah, if you do a line, you're like, I just sound so out of character. You can bring it up with. Cause well, can, did like, you no, feel no, no, confident no, no, yeah. doing that as well? Obviously, because if it's like one of your earlier stages of of, yeah. of work, I, I guess it's a big step to take, isn't it? Really, you know what I mean? I'm not massively there yet, but I think it works. It's more as well for like long term characters. So yes. Like, say if I've been playing the judge for like four years, <laughs> and uh, you know, like a. There's there's a line where he's like, "You're my best friends. Yeah. I love 
spending time with you. It's like, oh, oh tip top I... laddies <laughs> or something. Like, it's, it's a. Like... Doodle pip boys, let's get out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, you yeah like, that uh... doesn't really fit. Him. <laughs> it's 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 interesting because like I've been not in the situation massively, but I feel like one day if I feel because usually I've got a lot of trust in the in the people I've worked with, luckily. But I think eventually there'll probably be a point where I'll be like, you know, I'll probably have to bring it up. Cause that's the thing because I am like quite early in my voice career still. Mm. Like it's this this only past year has been like the the biggest year for me. Again, like it's great that it's taken off for you. Yeah, I'm incredibly honoured to be doing it, and I never believe I genuinely never th I, I hoped but never believed I would be in this position I am now. And if it gets better than this, then I mean, I I'd, I'd love to one day try and get work in America as well. That would be massive for me if I could get work in America. It may never happen, but you've got to try things, haven't you? It's been mad. I'm, you know, I don't know what next year holds for me, but it's it's insane. Yeah. You know, incredibly smart. Keep I, grabbing I, I, every I, opportunity, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, just people are enjoying it. I'm just happy. You know? I've got somebody else asking as well. There are any, any tips for someone trying to get into the voice acting field? Uh, ask, asking for a friend, she doesn't. Yeah, she does some amazing voices. If she's amazing, I mean, she's got some talent in her. So first things first. It sounds really obnoxious, but I've heard other people say it. It's like, oh, you need to know how to act, and it doesn't mean like right away. You can get yourself some lessons if you struggle, but. I didn't get any acting lessons at all. I just mimicked video game characters and stuff like that. That's essentially how I learned to act all these years. But back to more my advice I give for you. So I would recommend reading a book by Yuri Lowenthal and Tara Platt called Voice Over Voice Actor. It's a great book to kind of... It's a, it's, it's written by two Americans, but the a lot of the lessons in there go the same for the voice over yeah. you may be based, you know? But um, yeah, so a big part of it would be definitely read that book. But uh, as I say before, the three Ps, practice as much as you can. When you do get opportunities, be professional and just uh, be patient when waiting for jobs because it can take some time. If she's serious about getting into it, she's going to want to record like a little little character reel for herself and get it posted on the, the acting profiles that are, you know, uh, worth using and then uh she can just work on trying to make connections and stuff like that it's a slow game opportunities come and go through networking obviously but it is slow like if you do somehow like blow up then fair play to you well yeah. done to you you've skipped out a lot of you know, waiting oh somebody else asked as well sorry um was it difficult to sort of doing the banter back and forth without having the other voice actors there well you either got the line played to you so you could bounce off of it in the studio but luckily the writers also did their best to kind of do a voice and read the line to me so the other person would be like so what are you thinking about captain model he's so strange isn't he and then i would follow him with like i do not care for where he comes from only that he wishes to purge the heretic. You know, it's, and then you just follow him from there. And then maybe there'll be another line and they're like, Well, I disagree. I think he's very suspicious. And I can be like, Oh, well, I don't care for you, Psyker. After all, you are a freak. You know, like, it's just in that way. <laughs> yeah, so, so it did feel sort of natural, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, you just you, you brace yourself to respond to it as best you, you can. <laughs> Have you ever thought about sort of doing any like audio books? Uh, yes, I would like to get into audio books. It's a skill I've been trying to work on because I read quite weirdly. Mm. I read kind of like put a lot of pauses into things when I read it. That's a me problem. Like it was funny. I was doing Imperial Imperium ASMR on here the other day. May the beneficent emperor always praise you, praise you, praise you, bless him. And bless yourself, Pilgrim. <laughs> I was doing something like that. I love it. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I'm, oh my. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do this, man. Let's do it again, absolutely, man. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. And uh, thank you to your uh, watchers as well for being so uh, interactive in the questions. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank oh, you. Been, as I say, it's been absolutely fantastic. And yeah, just you taking the time out of your day to actually um, yeah, spend it with the community. Do you know what I mean? It's the least um, I can do, man. It's the least I can do, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, wish, I wish you all the best uh, with, with your future work, and I'm looking forward to um, to seeing what you actually voice that, that's coming out oh, early next year. Oh, now. I'm, I'm so yeah. excited. I'm, I'm going like, to... I'll tell you all about it when it's... Uh, yeah, once once you can. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But we'll definitely chat again, man, for sure. Don't you worry. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank, thanks very much, man. No worries, mate. Have a great evening. Awesome. Oh, thanks a lot, though, man. Yeah, have a great evening. Yeah, you that's too, great, buddy. Though. You too, man. Thank you. Take care. You too, mate. Take care. All right, lads. Can I get a bit of a hand over here if it's not too much trouble?